In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May grace and peace be with you all in the Holy Church of God and with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, as we solemnly dedicate this house, let us humbly call upon the Lord our God to bless this water He has created with which we are to be sprinkled as a sign of repentance and a remembrance of baptism. May the Lord support us with His grace so that the zeal to the Spirit whom we have received, we may remain faithful in His church. O God, through whom every creature comes forth into the light of life. You accompany all people with such great love that not only do you nourish them with fatherly care, but you mercifully cleanse them of their sins with the dew of charity and constantly lead them back to Christ the head. For in your merciful plan you established that those who descend as sinners into the sacred waters to die with Christ should rise free from guilt and be made his members, heirs with him to an eternal reward. Sanctify therefore with your blessing this water you have created that sprinkled on us it may be a sign of the cleansing waters of salvation in which we have been washed in Christ and made the temple of your spirit. Grant that with all our brothers and sisters who will celebrate the divine mysteries in this church, we may come at last to the heavenly Jerusalem through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
May God, the Father of mercies, by the grace of the Holy Spirit, cleanse us who are the temple where he dwells. Gloria in excelsis Deo. Almighty ever living God, pour out your grace upon this place and extend the gift of your help to all who call upon you that the power of your word and of the sacraments may strengthen here the hearts of all the faithful through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Observe what is right, do what is just, for my salvation is about to come, my justice about to be revealed. The foreigners who join themselves to the Lord, ministering to him, loving the name of the Lord, 
and becoming his servants. All who keep the Sabbath, free from profanation, and hold to my covenant. Them I will bring to my holy mountain, and make joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and sacrifices will be acceptable on my altar. For my house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, you are God's building. According to the grace of God given to me, like a wise master builder, I lay the foundation, and another is building upon it. But each one must be careful how he builds upon it. For no one can lay a foundation other than the one that is there, namely, Jesus Christ. Do you not know that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy that person. For the temple of God 
which you are is holy. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel according to Luke. At that time, Jesus came to Jericho and intended to pass through the town. Now a man there named Zacchaeus, who was a chief tax collector and also a wealthy man, was seeking to see who Jesus was. But he could not see him because of the crowd, for he was short in stature. So he ran ahead and climbed the sycamore tree in order to see Jesus, who was about to pass that way. When he reached the place, Jesus looked up and said, Zacchaeus, come down quickly, for today I must stay at your house. And he came down quickly and received him with joy. When they all saw this, they began to grumble, saying, He has gone to stay at the house of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, Behold, half of my possessions, Lord, I shall give to the poor. And if I have extorted anything from anyone, I shall repay it four times over. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house because this man too is a descendant of Abraham. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save what was lost. My dear brothers and sisters, I'd like to thank Father Archie Karampatan for inviting me to celebrate the preside at this Mass together with, of course, the superior of the Jesuit community here, Father Mani Oi, and our very own director of the Jesuit community or 
house in Manila, Father Joe Kilong Kilong, and many of our brother Jesuit priests, as well as the Eucisan priests, and all of you members of Consecrated Life, and our parishioners and, and friends, for this very significant event, the rededication of the church and the consecration of the altar. Indeed, a happy occasion as we celebrate the 33rd Sunday of the year when next month, or rather next week, we would culminate the journey of the liturgical year with the Feast of Christ the King. It's like we are culminating the year with the Feast of Christ the King and the week before that, we are gathered here. The theme of the readings invites us to be joyful, to be happy. Let us come rejoicing to the house of the Lord. We are invited to rejoice, to be happy because this is the house of the Lord. The first reading emphasized that by ending, my house is a house of prayer. And indeed, as we come, we know this is the house of the Lord, a house of prayer. And how privileged we should feel that, that we are invited. If it were not for COVID, this beautiful Archdiocese and Shrine of the Sacred Heart would be full packed with people. But we are obedient citizens and children of God. We observe IETF protocols and, of course, the uh, protocols of our LGU. And so this is the capacity number we could come up with, or we are allowed with social distancing. But we know there are many who join us in prayer, in thanksgiving. There are many who join us in unity, in fraternity, in praising God, in thanking the Lord for this wonderful event of the rededication of the church and the blessing or consecration of the altar. Our ceremony would remind us, as I said, how privileged we are to be invited and to come today in this house of prayer, in this house of God. We shall go and in fact, we come here rejoicing in the house of the Lord. Our rejoicing is based on significant and wonderful mysteries of our life and faith. We start the ceremony with a blessing of water. We bless the water and we bless all of you with water. Particularly in Cebu, that ceremony should bring tremendous amount of gratitude and thanksgiving because that water reminds us of the water of baptism with which we have become children of God. And we know that the first baptism in the Philippines was held in Cebu, April 13, 500 years ago. We the water of baptism. We who before that were only children of our parents with that water of baptism, with the expression of faith, we have all become children of God. What a privilege. In the prayer it made mention that of course called from the darkness of sin, we are ushered into the light of Christ. We are the children of God who are called out of darkness into God's marvelous light 
by that wonderful sacrament of baptism, by that water which cleanses us and makes us adopted children of God, sisters and brothers of Jesus Christ. My dear friends, as you look at this beautiful altar, then you know you who are, we who are members of the community of the Sacred Heart. I often remind Father Archie, I am also your parishioner because I just live the other side of the wall. But, but you, <laughs> members of the board, parishioners, visitors, friends, as we look at this altar very soon, we know that the consecration of this altar is actually the centerpiece of today's celebration. Because we who come to this church, we who come to the house of prayer, we who come to celebrate the sacraments, would realize that at the heart of this beautiful church is this altar. Because we are all pilgrims. We journey through life. And as we journey, we need the food of the Word of God and the body and blood of Christ. This piece of marble taken from Naga, Cebu, beautiful piece of stone, is a reminder that this is one of the many blessings, wonderful things in Cebu. But what makes this special is the fact that this year, as we celebrate the fifth centenary of the conversion of the holy founder, St. Ignatius, in this altar would be entered the relics of 17 Jesuit martyrs. <laughs> Jesuit martyrs. How privileged we are that as we offer the sacrifice in this altar, the relics of 17 Jesuit martyrs would be entered here. And of course, among others, the more famous, many of them we know, no, but St. Edmund Campion is J, St. Stephen Pingraj is J, San Juan del Castillo is J, St. Claude de la Colombier is J. But I repeat, you can get a copy of their names from Father Archie, 17 Jesuit martyrs. I mean, their relics will be entered in, in this altar. My dear brothers and sisters, I would invite you to, to pay attention particularly to the prayer of consecration. Because here we are made aware that as we need to be fed, to be nourished by the Word of God in this altar, the significance of our offerings every time, especially when we celebrate this Mass, then we know our minds are brought back to the history of our forefathers in faith when the patriarchs made an altar so that they can worship and give glory to God. Moses, Aaron, Melchizedek, etc. And from this altar we know, even now, the very prayer of the priest. The fruits of the earth and work of human hands we lift up to God. From this altar all our praises rise up to God. From this altar all our supplications rise up to God. From this altar all our pleadings rise up to God. So significant for all of us who journey in life. And again, because of that, because we know that the priest, the one who offers is Jesus, and the one who is offered, in fact, is Jesus in the bread and wine, we know, we believe, as our prayers are sent to God, like, like the incense, God's blessings come down to us. God's blessings. We know and we have experienced 
the blessings of peace, the blessing of unity, the blessing of brotherhood, the blessing of graces that we need in our daily life. All of this we profess and all of this we know as we rise to God in prayer. God's blessing come down to us in many wonderful ways in this altar. How beautiful. We know it is efficacious because it is Jesus himself who brings all of this to God. And it is the renewal of the offering of Jesus made in Calvary. And again, the Father could not deny Jesus and his love for us. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, today we should feel privileged to be able to witness this ceremony when here in our shrine we are glorifying God. The final point we are reminded is this church, this shrine, is the house of God. But the second reading reminds us as well as in the gospel because God is the God who wants to dwell in his temple. But we are reminded we are also the living temples of God. It's not only that God dwells here. Yes, he is. But we are temples of God. And so today, let's own that exaltation, that reminder, and worthy as we may be, God dwells in us, the Spirit dwells in us, and the God who came to the house of Zacchaeus, Jesus who wants to come to the house of Zacchaeus, is the same Jesus who tells us, I want to come to your heart. I want to come to your life. I want to come to you. My dear brothers and sisters, all of this we celebrate today. And because this is God's house, and because this is God's dwelling place, and because we too are temples of God, let's glorify the Lord by trying to live out that dignity. As St. Paul says, in love and in holiness, and we pray that as we journey in the company of the Jesuit martyrs and the many other saints in our own ways, we declare the mercy and the victory of God in the love, in the peace, in the community which celebrates this love of God seen in the sacred heart seen in the charitable works that we do, seen in the peace that we try to build. To Father Archie, to the Jesuit community, atong kinasing-kasing na pagpasalamat for making this shrine even more the house of God, the house of prayer, and the dwelling place of the Lord that we too may know that likewise God dwells in our hearts. Salamat, Father Archie, and congratulations to our Jesuit brothers as we rejoice with them the blessing of the Lord, the fifth centenary of the conversion of St. Ignatius of Loyola. Once more, dagang salamat. Congratulations. Amen.
Please rise and we now profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, who was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, our Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Dearly beloved, let us pray to God, the Almighty Father, who makes the hearts of the faithful into spiritual temples for himself. And may the supplication of the saints, our brothers and sisters, be joined with our voices. Lord have mercy.
Mercifully accept our petitions, we pray, O Lord, through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints, so that this building, to be dedicated to your name, may be a house of salvation and grace, where the Christian people, gathering as one, will worship you in spirit and in truth and be built up in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
sanctifier and ruler of your church. It is right for us to celebrate your name in joyful proclamation. For today, your faithful people desire to dedicate to you solemnly and for all time this house of prayer where they worship you devoutly and instructed by the word and are nourished by the sacraments. This house brings to light the mystery of the church which Christ made holy by the shedding of his blood so that he might present her to himself as a glorious bride, a virgin resplendent with the integrity of faith, a mother made fruitful by the power of the Spirit. Holy is the church, the chosen vine of the Lord, whose branches fill the whole world, and his tendrils born on the wood of the cross, reach upward to the kingdom of heaven. Blessed is the church, God's dwelling place with the human race, a holy temple built of living stones, standing upon the foundation of the apostles with Christ Jesus, its chief cornerstone. Exalted is the church, a city set on a hill, and a mountain for all to see, resplendent to every eye, with the unfading light of the lamp and resounding with the sweet hymn of the saints. Therefore, O Lord, we beseech you, graciously pour forth from heaven your sanctifying power upon this church and upon this altar to make this forever a holy place with a table always prepared for the sacrifice of Christ. Here, may the flood of divine grace overwhelm human offenses, so that your children, Father, being dead to sin, may be reborn to heavenly life. Here, may your faithful gathered around the table of the altar celebrate the memorial of the Paschal mystery and be refreshed by the banquet of Christ's word and his body. Here may the joyful offering of praise resound with human voices joined to the song of angels and unceasing prayer rise up to you for the salvation of the world. Here may the poor find mercy, the oppressed attain true freedom, and all people be clothed with the dignity of your children until they come exultant to the Jerusalem which is above. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen.
May the Lord, by His power, sanctify this altar and this house, which by our ministry we anoint, so that as visible signs they may express the mystery of Christ and the Church.
prayer, rise, O Lord, like incense in your sight. And as this house is filled with a pleasing fragrance, so let your church be fragrant with the aroma of Christ.
Let the light of Christ shine brightly in the church that all nations may attain the fullness of truth. As a sign of our joy for this consecration, let's give the Lord a big round of applause.
that rendered my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands with the grace and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the gifts of your joyful church be acceptable to you, O Lord, so that your people gathering in this holy house may come through these mysteries to everlasting salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy. For you have made the whole world a temple of your glory, that your name might everywhere be extolled. Yet you allow us to consecrate to you apt places for the divine mysteries. And so we dedicate joyfully to your majesty this house of prayer built by human labor. Here is foreshadowed the mystery of the true temple. Here is prefigured the heavenly Jerusalem. For you made the body of your son born of the tender virgin, the temple consecrated to you, in which the fullness of the Godhead might dwell. You also established the church as a holy city, built upon the foundation of the apostles with Christ Jesus himself, the chief cornerstone, a city to be built of chosen stones, given life by the Spirit and bonded by charity, where for endless ages you will be all in all, and the light of Christ will shine and dim forever. Through him, O Lord, with all the angels and saints, we give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. indeed holy O Lord and all you have created rightly gives you praise for through your son our Lord Jesus Christ by the power and working of the Holy Spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the Sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore O Lord we humbly implore you by the same spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your son our lord jesus christ at whose command we celebrate these mysteries for on the night he was betrayed he himself took bread and giving you thanks he said a blessing broke the bread gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, 
gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, His wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to His second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and in recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May, may he make us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, Saint Claude de Colombier, Saint Edmond Campion, Saint Juan del Castillo, and Saint Stephen Concarx, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family who dedicate this church to you. May it be for your family a house of salvation and a place for the celebration of your heavenly sacraments. Here, may the gospel of peace resound and the sacred mysteries be celebrated so that your faithful, formed by the word of life and by divine grace, on their pilgrim way through the earthly city, may merit to reach the eternal Jerusalem. There, in your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
at the Savior's command unfold by divine teaching we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. Through these holy gifts we have received, O Lord, we pray, instill in our minds an increase of your truth, so that we may constantly adore you in your holy temple and glory in your sight with all the saints. Through Christ our Lord. On behalf of the Jesuit community here in Cebu, both in the parish and in the school, Ateneo de Cebu, and on behalf of the parish community, I would like to express my heartfelt, deep gratitude, a big thank you to our dear, beloved Archbishop Jose Palma for officiating our beautiful liturgy today. Thank you also to our concelebrating priests, our religious, religious sisters. Let us thank our choir, our very own Sacred Heart Parish Choir, who sang the songs so beautifully. Can we give them a special round of applause? Let us, let us also thank our lectors, our cantors, our servers, our ushers, our live streaming team. If I forget any group or someone, this first part, God knows who you are. A special thank to our liturgists, members of the Commission on Worship. It's good for them to be here because some of our parishioners were wondering, what's cow, Father, what's cow? Is that baka? Commission on Worship. Special thanks to Father Glenn Guanzon. Father Glenn, please stand. <laughs> Who's assigned at the cathedral and the other liturgist or M MC, is it one? Father Mel Rasilis, a Salishan priest. Father, thank you. And their assisting uh, members of CAO, uh, I will not mention their names anymore, but the three other guys. Uh, well, I'll mention uh, Edson, Hendrik, and Hendrik and Her Hendrik and Hendrik. <laughs> Sounds the same, but without the D. But a special mention: one of our own, our our parishioner, Lindy, Miss Lindy Tan. Where are you, Lindy? Yeah, at the back. The second part of my big thank you, these are the people, our parishioners, without them, we won't have this very beautiful, massive, I don't know why Archbishop did not mention the color, uh, but we have this stone before the campaign, it's more or less pink. Where is it? I'd like to, th in behalf of our Jesuit community, on behalf of Sacred Heart Parish, deep heartfelt gratitude to Teresa Marble Corporation and Quarry Ventures Philippines Incorporated, to Mr. A.D. and Dr. Teresita Oifang. Can you please stand? Thank you, A.D. and Dr. Eddie is also a member of, or the couple are members of our Sacred Heart Paris Men's Association and ladies. Thank you also to Mr. Eduardo and Mrs. Medi Ngo, represented by the family members, Eric yeah. and the wife. Thank you. Thank you also to Mr. Antonio and Mrs. Nelly Chu. Our, our soup for flowers and our soup kitchen. Thank you also to Engineer Ramir and Mrs. Gina Bunghanoi. Our lassie Mrs. 
and a special thank you. We should see who he is, the one who polished the marble stone in front of us, Mr. Alan Lasit. Alan, where are you? There. Thank you, Alan. And last but not the least, he or this couple have been helping me. He's there really the, the, the force behind the Paris priest and behind in, in this particular project, Mr. Charles Nelson and Mrs. Zeni Uyi. In case I have forgotten a group, I'd like to thank all those who came last Saturday for the practice. Would you agree that the liturgy was so beautiful? Yes. Thank you, fathers. Thank you, officers of the different organizations of the parish, our volunteers also. It was so moving. Someone will never forget a once-in-a-lifetime event in our parish. This event led me to reflect on how our community, our parish was founded. And I thought of the founding families who maneuvered the Archbishop of that time to bring Jesuits to Cebu to provide pastoral care to the Filipino or Cebuano Chinese or Chinese Cebuano's community. And we have requested some members of the family to be with us in a way to, to pay tribute to honor the family. I'd like to recognize the family of Sir Ricardo King, who is with us, with his lovely wife, Linda. Can you please stand? And of course, the man who is so influential with our projects in the parish, the Columbari, and right now, the 500 trees, legacy trees. Bishop, Archbishop, this is the guy responsible also from that founding family of Sacred Heart Parish, Attorney Agosto Go, with his lovely wife, Madame Beth. Go. Thank you. I hesitated to invite Attorney Gus because he's so careful in joining big crowd. But when I saw the, uh, news a few days ago, I saw you in that crowd. I said, most likely, he will come. Thank you, Attorney Gus, for coming. And of course, I cannot mention all uh, the uh, members of the, fam of, the, of the parish, but thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. After our mass, we will distribute a, a, a small souvenir of the event. We might not have enough. So in case you cannot get one, please bear with us. You can come to the office and get your souvenir. We did not expect a big, a big crowd like this. So we will request Archbishop to bless our souvenir picture of the altar and there's a little food pouch that we prepared to keep you from starving on your way home. So please bear with us, just form a line uh, later to distribute our items in order. Daghang salamat, Tosha. Sorry, did I say Mario? I know it's Sir Rick. Rick and Linda, yes. Father Archie or the Sacred Heart of Jesus Paris has been doing wonderful things, but very briefly from the Archdiocese of Cebu, we would like to recognize and give the certificate of recognition to Sacred Heart of Jesus Parish for establishing Paris Ecology Ministry for spearheading the environmental programs and advocacy of the Astaises of Cebu. 5,000 trees <laughs> or 500 mango trees. Thank you so much, 
Sacred Heart of Jesus Paris for the many projects that you launch. Oh, salamat, Father Archie. We, we bless the icons. Please rise. The Lord be with you. Lord God, you make all things holy by your word. We pray you to bless you. Sanctify the icons and uh, the memorabilia of this wonderful event. And we pray that through your loving hand, those who venerate all of these icons and remember in love and thanksgiving, all of this memorabilia may receive from your blessings in this life and glory in the life to come through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, the Lord of heaven and earth, who has gathered you today for the dedication of this church, make you abound in heavenly blessings. Response, Amen. Amen. May God who has willed that all his scattered children be gathered in his Son, grant that you become his temple and the dwelling place of the Holy Spirit response. And may you be made thoroughly clean so that God may dwell within you and may you possess with all the saints the inheritance of eternal happiness response. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Let's give the Lord a big round of applause. Congratulations.